we are researchers of Ministry of Economies and we are here in Mahakwen. We are here to try to understand what our data really reflects in regards to the urban and rural divide. In the 1980s, Mozambique was one of the poorest countries in the world. Since then, Mozambique has recovered from war to grow on average by 7% each year. According to the latest National Poverty Assessment carried out as part of the Inclusive Growth in Mozambique project, the number of people living below the poverty line without access to basic human needs such as food and shelter has fallen from two-thirds of the population in 1996 to just under half by 2014. But this impressive fall in poverty hides a deep divide. We found that urban areas and rural areas have very different levels of poverty, access to basic services and housing conditions, ownership of durable goods is also very different. In urban areas, the average poverty rate is now close to one third. In the rural areas, however, poverty continues to affect more than half of the population, and this is where more than 70% of the people live. In the south, which includes the capital Maputo, around one in five people have been lifted from poverty since 2008, with the poverty rate now at one-third. In the more rural north and center, however, the poverty rate remains at around a half. Moreover, given the growth of Mozambican population by more than 50% since 1997, while the proportion of people living in extreme poverty has fallen, the actual number of people living in poverty has remained the same. Around 7% of the population live in rural areas. The concentration of police to urban areas leads to migration and migration causes another problem to the urban areas, like settlements, crime increases. The focus also to rural areas is extremely important just to keep the people working in the rural areas. To address these challenges, UNU Wider, together with the University of Copenhagen, the Center for Economic Management Studies Maputo, and the Mozambican Ministry of Finance, are working on scaling up research and capacity. The latest National Poverty Assessment relied on over 10,000 household visits each year by researchers to understand the issues facing Mozambicans and how to overcome them. Ongoing surveys include a focus on the manufacturing sector and job markets. This project provides a lot of information, brings to the Ministry also theoretical instruments that support the practical decision making in the Ministry. A cornerstone of the Sustainable Development Goals is leaving no one behind. It is clear that with more than two-thirds of the population in rural areas, Mozambique faces many challenges. To help in this challenge, UNU Wider is supporting efforts to improve data and data collection as part of the UN's call for a data revolution. This involves not only providing better data and research today, but investing in the researchers themselves so they can keep up the effort to improve policy in Mozambique and ultimately the lives of Mozambicans. We're here now in Maracuén, in a primary school just outside Maputo. We know that one in 10 kids are now out of school. I'm currently studying the determinants of primary school enrollment. The preliminary results suggest that the factors that affect child enrollment in primary schools are such as if the child has any disability, if the child is an orphan, if the parents had any education, and child labor also affects the enrollment. I'm studying the determinants of women participation in labor force. A woman is in labor force if she is working or she is actively looking for a job. I found in my study that one of the main determinants of human labor force participation is education. So we need to try to keep women in school. We need to try to make them finish the primary education, but also secondary school and higher education. There are a lot of good ideas, there are a lot of policies to bridge the rural and urban divide. If we take into account the society when, when designing the policies, I think it's possible to bridge in the shortest time the rural and urban divide. My first goal is to develop my skills. I hope to continue to work in this project. And my second goal is to go to do my master's degree and PhD so I can have really more skills to help my country. The priorities of this project are to produce high-level research that can inform evidence-based policy making and building the capacity of young Mozambicans, train them so that they can solve the problems that Mozambique is facing today.